Hey guys, so in this video today, I'm just going to show you some tips and tricks you can do on your Apple Watch that might make your life a little bit easier or you might find useful. So to start off with, we have assistive touch, which I think transforms the Apple Watch. It is obviously an accessibility feature and just generally using it to do bits on the watch is amazing as it lets you just literally use the watch hands free. You don't have to touch the screen. So if we just go here, uh, you can see the hand gesture that you can use, pinch, double pinch, double clench, what they do, you can set different actions on each one and reset to default if you wanted. So to activate it, you have to double clench. So I'll show you here. So once the blue ring comes up, you double clench and then you get the ring around the first, in this case, the complications. And then based on what you have set, double clenching or pinching, you just work your way around the interface and you can use this to dismiss notifications take phone calls so if your hand well if your other hand is tied up and i've found this useful in many cases where i can just dismiss a notification or just quickly glance at something access a complication or an app just by double clenching but i've done an in-depth video of this if you just check and the top right the card it takes a while to get used to but once you get the hang of it um, I think it's an amazing feature so number two we have unlocking using the watch itself so if you just head over to face ID and postcode on your iPhone and then you just need to turn it on so this was implemented uh, through COVID so if you were wearing a mask and stuff um, so if I just cover my face and literally if you unlock your phone it'll uh, use your watch to authenticate that and then you can obviously choose to lock your phone from there so number three was finding the iphone but if you just click the button itself it'll just play a little tune and allows you to locate your phone if you have dropped it down the sofa or if it's you know left somewhere but a neat trick is if you actually hold that button it plays the volume louder and it flashes the light so if you're looking around in the dark or could be another visual indicator to find the phone number four we have the torch on the watch and this way it allows you to use your watch in a pinch if you need to just quickly have some light and as you can see it brightens up and you have a variety of different torches so you have the colored ones here in red if you tap it, it changes to this yellowy amber if you go back to the first one if you tap you can brighten it tap again to dim it so you can control it that way number five we have the cover screen feature so wherever you are in the interface if you just cover the screen with your palm it'll reset back to your watch face and you can use this on dismissing notifications or even if you're getting a call to stop the vibration or to mute it Number six was water eject or locking the screen. So I use this if you're around kids and stuff who always seem to be obsessed with the Apple Watch. I just lock the screen using that, but obviously it's used to lock the screen as well when you're in the water so nothing gets touched. But if you ever get water in your Apple Watch, you can literally use it to spit that water out of the speaker. You can see here it's just slightly bubbling away. So number seven, we have the camera remote and this is Another one of my favorite features, it just allows you to remotely control the camera from your iPhone. So it's good if you're taking a group selfie or if you just want to do a group video or setting it up on a tripod or somewhere else and then just literally controlling your camera from wherever you're standing. And you can literally go through all the different camera functions. And you have additional settings here so you can change your front array, you can turn the flash on or off. You can take videos which you can stop as well and if you set it on the phone in the first place it'll swipe through each different function of camera so we can see here photo you can use portrait mode and pano is the only one that does not get supported but every other feature is supported through remote so that's a neat little feature that helps Another one was watch mirroring. So if you just wanted a bigger interface to be able to adjust things on the watch, you can just go through your settings to Apple watch mirroring, turn it on, and then you have your Apple watch basically on the iPhone, the whole interface shows up, everything is mirrored and 
you literally click the buttons like you would with the crown or the side button and it basically mirrors it so it's a good little feature if you want to just use it on a on a bigger interface or for whatever other reason and number nine here is bedside mode so i literally use this every night when i'm charging the watch if i'm not wearing it to sleep so you can turn it on in the settings uh, this can be done from the watch app on the phone as well so you just turn on bedside mode and you can use it as a bedside clock if you have alarm set it dimly uh, dims the display and then lights it up so as you, soon as you put it on time so you have to have it in landscape for it to enable and set like this and then you can tap it and it'll show you if you have an alarm set so a nice little bedside clock there as well thank you for watching guys if this these tips were useful to you please hit the like button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care